Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Pass prompt when a part is clicked. Just before the video begins, I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish, which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explore and Properties are enabled. If they're not enabled, you'll head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explore and Properties, and they should show somewhere over your screen. Many of you have been asking me, how do I actually customize where my properties are? So for example, my Explorer could be down here, and my properties could be there, and you want them to be on this side of the screen. All you do, you drag the top bar there where it says Explorer, and all you go, you go to your middle of the screen here, and it kind of gives you the options on where you want your Explorer. So if we go and select it there, you'll be able to see it's now on the left. But if we go and select it here, right there on the top, it'll go to the top. Now let's say we wanted to go above here. All we do, we just drag it over here, drag it along there, and up it goes. Now that you've got Explorer and Properties enabled, you now want to go and search your part, which the player will be clicking. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it extremely simple. I'm just going to go and anchor it, and I'm going to go and change the color. Or you can go and customize it to however you would like. You could use a different part. You could use a sphere, a wedge, a corner wedge, or a cylinder. It's completely up to you. Or unless you have another mesh you would like to use, you can also use that. But for this tutorial, we'll just be using the standard part. Now, you can go and rename your part. For this tutorial, it's not necessary for me, but you probably will have to go and change the part of your name, maybe to something like click button or maybe something like fish or uh, or tree you know it's really up to you but you want to go and change the name of your part only if you have multiple parts called part in your game then you'll need to change it because it would affect part of the code but anyway go and change the name of your part for this tutorial i'm just going to go and rename it to part just like that once you've done that you want to click on the plus button and insert a click detector so now that you've inserted a click detector inside of your part, you can go and change the max activation distance. Basically what this means is it depends on how far the play is away. So for example, let's say this is 33 distance away from the part, we will not be able to click the part. But if we are within 32 distance from the part, we will be able to click the part, which will then prompt us the game pass. You now want to go over to your part, click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script inside of your part, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that's in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of your script, you want to go and adjust a couple things. So where it says local button equals game.workspace.yourpartname, basically what is happening, we're going to the main game, then we're going to the workspace folder inside of Explorer, and then we are going to find our part. So as you guys can see, I've actually added a bit of a note here saying change your part name, your part name is right there, to your part which the players have to click. So if you guys remember, you guys could have changed the name to it, but I remember that my part that the player is going to be clicking, which is holding the click detector, is called part. So we want to go and change your part name to whatever our part is actually called. Basically, then we are identifying on what local click equals. So local click equals our button, which is our part, dot the click detector, so that is our click. Then what we're doing is we're going to the local marketplace service, we're identifying on what marketplace service equals. So marketplace service is basically the main catalog for Roblox. So any merch you purchase or any clothing you purchase is all from marketplace. Same with game passes and with the developer products. So we're going to the marketplace service and we're identifying on what marketplace service is. Then on line four where it says local game pass ID, we're identifying our game pass ID of being this ID right here. So what you want to do, you want to go and change this ID to whatever your Game Pass ID is. So if you don't already have a Game Pass, what you want to do, you want to head up to your game on the main Roblox page, click on the three dots and click configure this experience. This will take us to the Roblox Studio Creator, which is basically where you're able to set the privacy of your game, change the associated items, create badges, create developer products, create Game Passes. Really everything that is associated to your game, you can adjust here. So what you want to do, you want to go down here to where it says associated items, click on associated items, click on passes, and then we want to click on create a pass. We then want to go and insert an image, but it is not necessary. Roblox will automatically put an image in there for us, kind of like a golden ticket image there. We then want to go and put a name for our, our game pass. So I'm just going to be calling this game pass one, just like that. And then you can add a bit of a description. For this description, I'm just going to be saying floppy is cool, just like that. 
and then once you've finished adjusting everything in your Game Pass settings, click on Create a Pass. Now that you've created your Game Pass, you want to click on your Game Pass, Sales, select item for sale, then you want to enter how much you actually want your Game Pass to sell for. So if you want to add 100,000 Robux, you could set it to 100,000 Robux. If you want to add 1,000, you can set it at 1,000. But for this tutorial, we'll be just setting it to 1, and then we want to click on Save Changes. Now that you've saved your changes to your Game Pass, click back on Associated Items, click on Passes, click on the three dots, and click Copy Asset ID, and take that back to Roblox Studio. We are now back in Roblox Studio, so what we want to do, we want to go and change this Game Pass ID to our new Game Pass ID, which we just created. Basically, what happens here, if the click detector has a mouse click, it'll prompt the Game Pass, which go, basically goes from the Marketplace service, which will then prompt Game Pass Purchase, which will basically prompt our Game Pass ID to the player, and it will prompt the Game Pass ID. Once you've finished changing everything, you want to head up here, click on the X button next to your script, and then you want to go over to your Game Settings, then you want to go down to Security, and then you want to allow third-party sales, which will basically allow us to sell our Game Pass. Then we want to click on Save, and then you can go click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate, and if I go click on our part and the click detector is activated, it will prompt us to purchase the Game Pass. Now keep in mind, we're in the Roblox Studio testing, so this is just a test purchase. If you had to click this on the main Roblox game, you'd actually have to pay the run Robux, which will then make you allow to own the Game Pass. Now you may be saying, well Floppy, I get a different type of screen which says I already own the Game Pass. The reason for this is because when you create a Roblox Game Pass, it will automatically become yours, which will basically mean you own the Game Pass when you create the Game Pass, so you don't have to repurchase it again. But for the tutorial, I've gone to my inventory and I've deleted my Game Pass from my inventory just to show you guys that it actually does work. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.